Let's cross now to speak to Seema Gupta in Rome. Seema, why is Saviano being actually brought to court over this matter? Well, um, it's essentially defamation charges. I mean, as you mentioned, he's best known uh, as a, a writer for that mafia bestseller it, that was a bestseller internationally back in 2006. And since then, he's actually been under 24-hour police protection because he's received death threats since then because of the book that he wrote. But this is this case today uh, essentially is because statements he made back in 2020 on an Italian TV talk show. Uh, he was asked to comment on the the death of a six-month-old baby from Guinea who died in a shipwreck in the Mediterranean. And in his comments, as you mentioned, he referred to both uh, Meloni as well as Salvini uh, as bastards. Now, that back then, uh, Miss Meloni was the leader of the Brothers of Italy party, a small party, but right now she is the prime minister. And uh, he said it was because of the policies that they had, which were anti-immigrant uh, back in 2019, uh, Miss Maloney actually referred to the policy of these NGO boats uh, rescuing migrants uh, who make this dangerous journey across the Mediterranean. Uh, he, she said back then uh, that these NGO ships should be sunk. So it was in reference to that that he called her that name. But now, because of uh, laws that are in place here in Italy, he could face up to three years in prison uh, if this case trial goes forward. And of course, he's found guilty of these uh, charges of defamation. And what does this case mean for freedom of speech in Italy? Well, uh, press freedom groups are saying that the case should be dropped. They say uh, it, it can create a chilling effect on any future cases of investigative journalism or independent media if people feel that they can be taken to court as a result of what they say or what they do. Now, it's important to note that Italy ranked 58th in the Press Freedom Index of 2022. Uh, this is an index of press freedom around the world uh, that is conducted by Reporters Without Borders. And that's the lowest ranking in Western Europe. Uh, the law, in fact, that he's being charged uh, on is the defamation through the media law, which says that you can face anything from six months up to three years if found guilty. And it's a law that Italy's constitutional court back in 2020 and in 2021 has called on lawmakers uh, to just remove because they say it's unconstitutional um, to charge members of the media uh, uh, journalists who are uh, commenting on these issues uh, for such a uh, on such a crime. Uh, now, Mr. Saviano, for his part, has been defined. He's been speaking to the media and says he will not apologise uh, for what he feels he's been doing, which is essentially his duty to criticise those that are in positions of power. Seema Gupta reporting there from Rome. Thank you.